Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some Brewster's ice creams. I have the cake batter. I have cotton candy explosion. These were $6.99 each, and we Not bought bad. these at, uh, no, I don't think $6.99 is bad for a full pint of ice mm -hmm. cream. We actually went to uh, their, basically their scoop shop. I mean, that yeah, they make it in-house, and so we went there and, and chose the ice cream we wanted. I'll, we'll talk about it more at the end um, about Brewster's, but this is the cake batter. And there's honestly, there's nothing to see right on top, at least. Um, let's see. Might not be anything to see in the middle. There might not be. Um, I don't know what to expect. Looks like it's just yellow. It looks just yellow. Yeah, it's just yellow. There's not like, I don't well, like, just, I like literally don't see any like cake pieces. I'm surprised they didn't put cake pieces or sprinkles or, or something. Like yeah. It does have a cake batter left over though. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Like a vanilla cake. Oh, it's incredible. It's delicious. I'm impressed with how creamy it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could eat that. Uh, <laughs> that is amazing that they got like Wait, no. a, a yellow cake, like very, very sweet cake in this it almost tastes like a cake but it also tastes like it has a little frosting on it too there's no cake pieces in there mm -mm. no but this tastes like when you buy cake mix and you've added your oil and your eggs um and you whipped it up this is what it tastes like if you were to lick your spoon or your beater or so whatever good. that's what it tastes like before you bake it it's still absolutely mm -hmm. delicious yeah like i said it almost it's almost like you've got a little frosting in there too, though, because mm -hmm. it's got a really sweet vanilla flavor. It's very sweet. Sorry, the light keeps changing. The sun's the going sun, in and out. The sun. The sun. I noticed that the sun's <laughs> going in and out, so it's like there's this effect we're getting in here. Um, we're not under strobe lights for the party. No, we don't use any <laughs> fancy lighting on this channel. All natural. All natural lighting. <laughs> no, no uh, hidden, uh, blurry focus. Um, this is the cotton candy explosion. I picked this one. Okay. Did you? Yeah. Ooh, wow. <laughs> That's like, I don't think any artificial coloring was used in that ice cream. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, it's a pink. I don't pink. think I've ever seen that Well, color. that's, uh, no, because it was bubblegum pink. I was six to say that Superman with the bubblegum, the pink bubblegum I don't cream. think I've ever seen ice It was pretty pink, but I think this is darker than that. I one. mean, I'll my hold it up. Goodness. There's some dark blue like pieces in there. There you go. Yeah. Why don't you buy this and give it to little Jimmy and let him sit in the back seat of your car and eat this? Did it focus? <laughs> no. Yeah, we're focused. Okay. We're focused. I can't tell because my yeah. eyeballs don't focus. Give this to little Jimmy and let him enjoy it in your car with this pink yeah, color. Yeah, pink nightmare. I mean, that's, ooh, wow. It's got some white in there, too. Oh. Mm. This is gonna be a cotton candy. I wonder what the little crunchy pieces are. Are they pop rocks? That's wonderful. Uh huh. Yeah. That's the explosion. Well, I got one that wasn't a pop rock. Some of them do, some of them don't. Mm hmm. Definitely pop rock. The ones I've had have been like little, um, almost like cake pieces. Yeah, see the little white? It's like oh. they didn't, maybe it's just when they churned it, they didn't mix up some of it mm. good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are pop rocks. That is terrific. I'm not getting any popping. Mm -hmm. It's very good. Oh, there, just a little bit. Um, it's a very good uh, cotton candy flavor, but it also has a very strong vanilla flavor. I love the cotton candy flavor. I always like a nice cotton candy. It's good. I don't have any complaints about it. I don't know if it's the best cotton candy I've ever had, but it's very good. And the color is just like <laughs> shocking. It is shock. Like this is beyond Barbie. This mm -hmm. isn't even Barbie. This is beyond Barbie. I'm telling you. It's darker. It's the pinkest pink I've, I think I've ever seen. Um, 
Like neon uh, paint. Neon paint. But see, they, they mix it all in house. So I'm sure they yeah. just, it probably depends on who's making it. Yeah. And how much food coloring they put in there. Mm -mm -mm. I think I like the cake batter better though. Mm -hmm. mm. I, I do too. You did. You got pink on it. Um, out of these two, um, I think we did a good job pairing them up because we bought um, lots of Brewsters. Mm -hmm. But I think we did a good job pairing these together because they're both incredibly sweet. Yes. It's like cake and candy. I mean, that's, that's just, it goes really well together. Um, so I like the little crispy pieces too. I do too. You know, pop rocks. So even though they don't all pop, I, I still like that. Mm -hmm. That crunchy texture. Mm, there you go. Um, it says Brewster Story starts in 1989 with Bruce Reed, the Bruce and Brewsters, and his passion to provide the community with fresh homemade ice cream. And since then, our commitment to deliver premium small batch ice cream hasn't changed a bit. We offer at least 24 ever changing flavors made fresh at our ice cream shops daily. With over 150 handcrafted flavor recipes in rotation, Brewster's is a community staple where you can treat yourself, someone you love, and share sweet memories along the way. There are nearly 200 independently owned locations in 22 states, Ghana and South Korea. Um, they're made the old fashioned way with slow kettle processing designed specifically to create the Brewster's flavor. Because every generous scoop is made in house just a few steps from the counter where it's served, it always tastes thick, creamy, and fresh. Mm -hmm. So, uh, that's what I was going to tell you. They have so many flavors to choose from. And, um, you know, they have a list. And you it's a, it's a place where you walk up and you don't go inside and eat. I do wish they had... A place where you could go in and eat, like, like a you know, like a Baskin Robbins. I really think that, especially in a state like mm -hmm. Kentucky, where we have all four seasons, um, super cold, super hot. <laughs> yes. So you don't necessarily want to go get ice cream when it's freezing cold outside, and you have to stand out in the cold and order and wait for them to get it for you. Um, that's just, it would be really, really nice if they had a location where you could go in and enjoy it. And I think it would be more profitable for, for them too. Um, that said, I think it's delicious ice I think cream. It's good. I am going to say though. Uh, wait, I bet we're going to say the same thing. I'm getting an aftertaste. Me? Yes. Yeah. From, from the cotton. From the dyes. It's yeah. the dye. They put too much because normally it doesn't affect you as much. No, but as I'm talking. Mm, no, but as I'm talking, <laughs> we were seeing our tongue out each other. <laughs> no, no, we're checking for pink tongues. As I'm talking, that dye is settling it's in. Bitter. It is very bitter, like a red, uh, like when you get a birthday cake with a lot of red yeah, on it. Yeah, that really dark red. That's what that. Cake. Yes. Yeah. So, so you, that's unfortunate. It is. You don't get it while you're eating it, mm -hmm. but you get it after you're finished with it that's when you're gonna get yeah, it so i don't know if it's always this pink if you have a brewster's in your area and you eat this let us know if it's always this, i mean like this really is rich the pink thing I've ever because seen. Um, if it's not it, it's probably a good thing because this has got too much dye food coloring in it. yes um and you or know whatever food dye they use whatever it, it didn't is. bother me while i was actively eating it so if you have a drink ready maybe that'll help it but yeah. out of these two i definitely prefer the, yeah. the, the even cake without batter. even without that dye aftertaste i'd still be okay Batter. I would still pick the yeah, no matter what, I'm still picking yeah, the cake better. Because it's really good. But I, I do like this. I do like it. They and it was shocking. Cut, cut back a little bit on that dime. Yes, yes. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know if you have a Brewster's in your mm -hmm. area. Because I don't know, uh, you know, they have all those locations, but I don't know, you know, what states are they available in. 22, so it's only um, in half. Yeah, exactly. And, and uh, we had a location that was closer to us and it's gone now so mm -hmm. it, it just recently is gone and i really 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 do believe it has a lot to do with not being able to go inside somewhere and surviving the winter because we have some really cold weather and it's just nobody wants it's just bitter to stand out there and wait but i do like it that so, they sell them in the pints yes 
Absolutely. I, think that's cool. I do too. Any flavor you want, they'll put it in a pint for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.